not wanting to wake Daniel to escort her to the giant fir for the privacy she required, Myra picked her steps carefully to the edge of the gap. The grounds outside of their shelter were covered completely in a blanket of thick white snow. Thank goodness they'd found a place to rest. As it was, the snow dusted onto the floor of their refuge, rising in a slow arch she guessed at least six inches deep. Myra contemplated returning to the warmth of Daniel's sleeping embrace instead of having to stick her feet into the deep snow. Granted, she wore thick leather boots, but they weren't very high, rising just a couple inches above her ankles. Her bladder, however, was not willing to contemplate returning to bed. With a heavy sigh and a muttered oath, Myra plunged her foot into the snow, instantly feeling the cold through her boot. She shivered and rubbed her arms beneath her cloak but trudged ahead. Half walking, half running, she made it to the fir tree. After finishing her business, she stood to return, but a sound stopped her. It sounded like a snort or growl. Oh, she said under her breath, praying it wasn't a wolf or wildcat. There was nothing in sight, but the snorting sound was ominous and echoed off of every surface. Eyes on the cave, she walked slowly back toward it, praying that she made it before whatever animal warned her of its intent to attack actually did so. Then came the distinct roaring squeal that tore her heart from her chest and had panic setting in deep. A boar. Boars were fast as devils and mad as demons. If one caught up to her, there would be no escape. She'd be speared through and through by one of its deadly tusks. Fear like she'd never known set in, Myra lifted her skirts, let out a scream, and ran. From behind, pounding, angry snorts followed her. Blood rushed in her ears, and her breasts came so fast she nearly choked on them. As she ran, her feet sinking deep into the snow, her toe caught on something, sending her flying forward. Myra landed hard on her hands and knees, sinking into the snow, but that didn't stop her from moving. To stop meant certain death. She scrambled on all fours, her hands stinging with the cold, until she was able to gain her footing. Men spilled from the mountain gap, weapons drawn. The roar that split the air from Daniel's lips was more chilling than the sounds of the wild boar that chased her. Daniel, help me, she squeaked, throat tight. Sword drawn, Daniel searched the area. His eyes immediately met hers, then looked behind her. 